To apply for a radio presenter position, you need a radio demo. I'll show you the best formula for creating your own radio demo. Before you venture into creating a radio demo, remember that the demo is intended to represent what you can actually do. So faking it with a studio produced demo is not the way to go. A good sound engineer can make you sound like a professional DJ when you might not actually be able to run a live show. What I will be showing you that needs to be in your radio demo needs to actually be what you can do. That means recording your radio links as if they are live. Of course, if you're not actually working on a radio station, it will be a recording studio version of a demo and not an actual live radio demo, but it must not be an edited version. I will explain this in more detail in a moment. In most cases, radio station managers only want to hear demo recordings done live. That means you are starting on the back foot. But don't be discouraged. The important thing is to be able to present as if you are live. That means creating your own makeshift radio station, which can actually be great fun. Luckily, the radio station software is easily accessible these days at low cost and in some cases for free. What you need is at least two sources of music and a microphone. You will need a basic mixing desk and a recording device. The audio sources can be as simple as one or two cell phones or a laptop, and the microphone can be an affordable microphone you can find on eBay or Amazon or even at your local secondhand store. It is important though to have this combination of two sound or music sources and a microphone. If you don't have these, you'll end up making an editor-produced demo recording that will not help you improve as a presenter and will certainly not help you with your applying to radio stations. Just a final word of warning again before I continue, making a fake demo will get you nothing. If you do get the chance to have your demo listened to by a radio station manager and he or she likes what he or she hears, the most logical step would be to ask you to come in to be tested. If your radio demo is fake, you will not be able to do what's on your demo. You will have wasted your time and more importantly, the manager's time. The most likely outcome will be that you'll be sent away and told to never come back again. The radio station manager's time is precious and if you waste it with a fake demo, you will likely be put on a list that is for automatic rejection of any future demos, no matter how good or experienced you may be in the future. This is the last time I'm going to mention it. If you have not heard it by now, you're not going to listen anyway and you will learn the hard way. So let's get to the actual structure of the demo. Then I'll walk you through how to put it together. By the way, I'll be putting together a full training course for radio presenters based on my many years of radio presenter training, radio presenting, at radio station owner. I'll be covering all you need to know as a radio presenter, even how to build your own radio or your own FM radio station. So be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell to be notified of future YouTube videos like this one and for the announcement of my full radio presenter course. So the radio demo structure looks like this. It's three minutes maximum. That's uh, also three megabytes uh, or less as well. And the parts should include firstly an introduction of 10 seconds. Then secondly, music to music link of 40 seconds. Thirdly, music to advert link, 40 seconds. Fourthly, an advert or commercial read of 30 seconds maximum. And finally, it's a short news read of a maximum of one minute. This is the basic structure of the demo. It will show your technical skills, show off your voice, and have you presenting in all the different presenter roles on radio station being DJ, newsreader, and other co-host roles. The total of the demo is no longer than three minutes. Anything more than that, the radio station manager will not listen to. In fact, most radio station managers can make a decision in the first 10 seconds. They will only listen to the rest of the three minutes if they are impressed with the first 10 seconds. Often, it can be as short as five seconds and your demo is already in the trash. So, let's start off with the introduction. First, record a short introduction, which goes something like this. Hi. I'm, and then you put your name here, Bob, let's just say, so hi, I'm Bob, and this is my radio demo consisting of two links, one advert and one short news read. 
my contact details are attached to the audio file. And I would recommend that you do put your contact details into the name of the file, or at least try to make sure that there's some way that your contact details are attached so that whenever the person listens to this, if they decide they like you, they can get hold of you. Secondly, let's move to the music to music link. I will explain the radio link in more detail in future, but for now, just know that what you're doing is what is called the Mexican bicycle. This has nothing to do with bicycles or Mexico. It is simply the description of the structure of the radio link. By the way, this is not the only way to do a radio link, but it is the most basic and an important way to show that you have the skills as a radio DJ. The diagram shows the talking out of the song into the content and then back into another song. This means giving the song name and artist, station ID and other info like the time, etc. Then you do a short bit of content like a short bit of interesting news. Then you talk across the intro of the next song. You don't need to and in most cases should not talk about the song that you are starting to play. Rather do something else like saying something about an upcoming event or competition. Here's an example of how the link should sound. Martin Frankfurt and Break My Heart on 98.7 True Music FM. Speaking of broken hearts, a guy in Australia decided to propose to his girlfriend by putting the ring in his mouth and kissing her, hoping she would discover it. Problem is, he swallowed it and had to wait a few days for it to come out the other end to propose again. They say it's what's inside a person that really matters, but I'm not sure if that's what they meant. Would you accept that ring? Mm, I'm not so sure. This is the end of part one. To carry on watching, click on the link to watch part two if it's available. If it's not yet available, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell to be notified when the next part is ready to watch. Check the links in the description for more details and I'll see you in the next video.